Yeah. You're watching Vestigio Full. Vestigio Full here? Well, I'm starting on a rubber band car project. You might be wondering what a rubber band car is. Well, it works on a similar principle to these wind-up cars here. How, how these wind-up cars work is there's a, a coil inside of them that when you pull it back, it, it winds up that coil and when you release it, it releases that stored up energy and lets it go. Rubber band cars work on a similar principle except they use rubber bands. As you wind the car back, it winds the rubber bands up and then it re would release the car and it'll make the car go. Cutting them out and and glued them together into that rectangular shape you see there and I've cut out circular pieces for the wheels and I trace this cup onto a a board which makes this perfect circle and using this giant pencil and well, you've probably seen these and and if you got one of these well it probably lays around in your house so what you can do with it is try to write it really f with it really fast and try to make it run out as fast as possible and you can have competitions to see who can make it run out the fastest. I should have drilled a hole in th those boards there and then glued them together into this rectangular shape because then that the holes will be aligned with each other and I can drill into them in a not so awkward way. I've taken these boards here apart. I've then drilled holes in them like you see there and and I glued them back together into this rectangular shape. So I, I got that pretty good and I took the circular discs and I drilled holes in them. You want to get the holes to be centered and on the right angle. Now, I, I didn't get them that great. Some of them are off centered like this one here and some of the holes are on an angle. It's hard to see. Th that one's pretty good. The rest of them are, aren't that great. Another thing that you want to get besides the holes centered and on, on, an ang on the right angle is you want to have the outer part of the circles to be nice, smooth, and circular. Again, you would have to buy to get that. So, mine aren't that smooth and circular. Okay, well, this is the completed rubber band car. I think you can pretty much see how I have it finished. No. I found that the, the best way to connect the rubber bands to the poles is just by staples. You, you can put them in there and it'll hold the rubber bands in. And I put rubber bands around the wheels. Yeah, I got some wood glue on these wheels here to help hold them in place. Let's test out how this thing works. We Now like I've said before, they work just like these kind of wind-up cars where they have a coil in them so when you pull it back it, it winds up that coil and it lets it go. It's, it's the same thing, it's just there it's a, a coil inside the car and here it's rubber bands. A couple things to consider are is the ratio between how long you have the car this way and how long you have it this way. Now, you generally want to have it longer this way than you have it this way. Probably want something like twice as long as you have it here. Well, different ratios will give you different performances and feel free to experiment with different ratios. And one thing, I thought that this the, the fact that the wheels weren't very round 
was going to make the car not perform well at all. Well, yeah, they, they definitely aren't perfectly round, but the car turned out fine. It didn't matter as much as I thought it was going to. Now, that, that's not to say that the roundness doesn't matter. The rounder you have the wheels, the, the better. So, if I were to have them perfectly round, it would perform better. And one thing is, if you can get this powerful enough, you can get it to go this way and then you know, go back this way, wind itself up this way, then go back this way and this way. Of course, it'll be less and less powerful each time. And mine's not powerful enough to do that, but but if you were to get it powerful enough, you could get it to do that. Another thing is, only put one rubber band on each axle because I found that there's a certain maximum wound upness that once it reaches that, it doesn't wind itself up anymore. So by putting more rubber bands on, you're just going to make it reach that maximum amount faster. Come up with your own ideas. Feel free to experiment and use your own ideas. And they should have like rubber band car wars where the cars are powered by rubber bands and when they shoot the cars lose some power. Well, let me know what you think. Put it, tell me in the comments below.